For this project, we're going to need scissors, measuring tape, pins, thread, fabric, and a men's dress shirt. I used a thick velvet for the fabric. Using scissors or a seam ripper, we're going to start by removing the sleeves of the shirt. After removing the sleeves, we're going to detach the side seams. And then unstitch the seams of the sleeves as well. Next, we're going to remove all the buttons of our dress shirt. And then finally, we're going to unstitch the hem of the shirt. With our shirt fully deconstructed, we're going to place a basting stitch along the button placket of our shirt. So flipping your machine to its largest stitch, we're going to sew straight along the button placket. Now pulling on that thread, we're going to create a slight gather. The amount that you gather your shirt is up to you. I did the most gathering around the bust to create more of a shape. Once I'm done gathering the first stitch, I'm going to sew a second basting stitch along the button placket. This will help lock in my gathering. Now with the shirt inside out, we're ready to pin our new side seams. You can also make sure at this point that your gathering on each side of the shirt is even. And then you're going to pin two back darts. This will help create a lot more shape to the dress. You can now trim away all the excess fabric on the side seams before you sew. Sew your side seams with a straight stitch. Before sewing your darts, it's good to use a measuring tape to make sure that they're evenly placed. And then when you're happy with the placement, you can sew your darts. Making sure to go nice and close to the edge to avoid puckering. Measure the circumference of the hem of your dress. And measure how much length you'd like to add to the dress. Keeping in mind this length measurement, also measure the length of the button placket, adding the extra length. We're now going to use these measurements to cut three pieces from our fabric. Placing right sides together, we're going to pin the piece that we cut for the hem of the dress along the hem. We're then going to sew with a straight stitch right along where we pinned. Now with the piece we just sewed on, we're going to fold it up one centimeter and then fold it up again to the seam line. And we're going to place the pin on the other side in the seam, making sure to catch the fabric. You're going to do this technique all along the hem and then sew with a straight stitch. When you're sewing, make sure to sew right in the seam line to hide your stitches. Now with the button placket piece, we're going to fold it in half, right sides together, and then fold one centimeter up on one of the sides. And then sew that bit down. Then you're going to fold that piece right side out and use something sharp to poke out the corners. Placing right sides together of the side that we didn't tuck in, we're going to place the button placket on the shirt. I placed my button placket slightly in from the edge so I was able to cover up the original button placket as well as my basting stitches. Trim away if you have any excess so you just have one centimeter to fold under at the bottom of the dress. When you're done sewing, you can then cut away any of the excess from the old button placket. Now using the same technique that we did on the hem, we're going to fold over one centimeter and tuck in the seam allowance and then place pins along the button placket seam. And then from the outside of the shirt, we're going to sew along the seam. We're going to do this for both sides of the shirt. For the armholes, we're going to use a shirt that we like the fit of and trim using that shirt as a base. And measure the new circumference of your armhole. Using this measurement, measure it onto your existing sleeves and add 2 centimeters, and then place pins. We're going to sew with a straight stitch where we place the pins. And then cut away the excess and we have our new sleeves. We're going to place a basting stitch at the top of the sleeves and then tug on the string to create a bit of a curve. With our shirt inside out and our sleeve right side out, we're going to place the right sides together and pin the sleeve into the armhole. And then we're going to sew along where we placed our pins. With our sleeve now attached, we can cut it to the desired length and then measure the circumference for the cuff we're going to add. We're going to add 2 centimeters to that measurement and then whatever width we'd like for the cuff, times 2, 
plus two centimeters. And we're gonna cut two of these. Now placing right sides together, we're gonna sew with a straight stitch, one centimeter seam allowance. And now with our right sides together again, we're gonna place the cuff on the sleeve. And remember to line up your cuff seam to your sleeve seam. And then attach the two pieces. And then using the same technique that we used on the button placket and the hem, we're gonna fold over one centimeter, place a pin in the seam, and then sew. The final step is attaching the buttons and making the buttonholes. So with a measuring tape and pins, I pinned my button placements and then hand sewed the buttons. And then use the button foot to create the buttonholes. And you're all done.